Hey people. Today we're going through a 1974 comedy drama movie called Lovers and Other Relatives. The movie begins with a man named Justino trying to feed biscuits to a dog. He teases the dog with the biscuit and beckons on it to come closer. The dog comes for the biscuit and then the man tries to drop a flower vase on the dog. The dog quickly runs away leaving the man disappointed. His wife, Ordonati calls out to him and he enters the living room, Ordonati scolds the maid for breaking a piece of tile and she replies in her defense that she did not break all the tiles and some parts are still left. Justino asks the maid for his shoes which he asked her to polish and she points him to the corner where she kept it. Justino picks up one of the shoes and discovers that the dog has urinated inside it. He complains angrily about it to Ordonati, she tells him that she will teach it to use the toilet. Soon after their son, Renzo arrives at the house with his wife Laura. In the next scene, two boys apply some cream on a woman's body while the third man watches. The boys feel uncomfortable with the presence of Lino and ask him to leave. The boys try to convince Lino to leave but he hesitates. He eventually decides to leave the room but a female voice calls for the two boys from outside and Lino decides to stay in the room with them all. In the next scene, Renzo and Laura wait for their luggage in a room. Sandro, who is Renzo's little brother, helps them bring their luggage into the room and gets teased by Renzo over the discovery of his explicit magazine. In the next scene, Justino and his family have lunch at the dining table, or Donati feeds the dog some provender while Renzo teases Sandro. Justino tries to get some wine but the dog barks at him, or Donati blames him for trying to harm the dog and that if he doesn't stop, she will make him start eating in the kitchen. Justino brags about being hired by the defense department and being given the rank of general and he will not eat in the kitchen in his own house. Or Donati brags that the house belongs to her and she will do whatever she wants. Renzo bid farewell to Justino, or Donati, Sandro and Laura outside the house, she tells him not to forget the phone he promised her or else she would be upset with him. Back in the room Laura asks Sandro if staying in his room does not bother him and he replies that it does. Afterward, Laura goes to the beach and everyone admires her beauty. She says hi to Sandro and Lino who asks if she needs anything. Mr. Muscle appears on the scene wearing nothing but briefs and gets Laura's attention. Mr. Muscle performs some gymnastic acts that get the attention and applause of people at the beach, especially the women but Sandro calls him a fool. Back at the Bellotti family house, everyone gathers around to watch television but Sandro reads a book instead. Laura comes around and asks him what he is reading, he tells her that he is reading a history book and she applauds him for it. Ordonati dismisses the maid and she bids them good night, the phone rings and Sandro goes to pick the call. Laura tells him to leave it for her because it might be Renzo calling. She picks the call and tells Renzo how much she misses him and he should make sure he calls her again the next night. In the next scene, Laura relaxes at the beach and while applying some sunscreen on her body, Sandro watches her. Sandro's friends approach him and ask about Laura, he tells them that she is his sister and they bid him goodbye. A young girl of Sandro's age approaches him and asks him to come with her to Neptune, he tells her that he would not be coming and she leaves. Laura asks him if the girl is his girlfriend, he tells her she just wants help with her history test and leaves. Later that night, Sandro and his friends go to spy on a couple having relations inside a room at the beach, while the man urges, they drop some cats into the room and run away. At the beach the next day, a couple of guys tease a man about the scratches on his back, he lies to them that he tripped while having his bath. Laura asks Sandro the solution to a puzzle and he tells her he doesn't know, a man gives her the answer and his friends tease him by throwing him into the water. At the Berlotti house, Laura talks to Renzo on the phone while Ordonati listens to the radio. She complains about the radio not being loud enough and turns it down, Sandro wakes Justino up and requests some money. Justino asks him what he needs the money for and he tells him he wants to go out with his friends, he tells Justino that he is tired of keeping watch over Laura. Laura overhears this and is disappointed, Geistino gives Sandro the money and he leaves. In the next scene, Sandro and Laura are at the beach while his friends and the young girl come to ask him if he would like to go get some ice cream with them. He tells them, no but Laura convinces him to go with them. Renzo returns to the house and Laura gives him a loving welcome. They kiss for a while and then he says hello to Ordonati and Justino. Later that night Sandro overhears Laura and Renzo having fun in their room. He first thinks they are fighting but then realizes that they are having relations. The next day, Renzo embarks on a trip. Laura and his mother bid him farewell. At the beach, Sandro watches Laura apply some lotion to her body. Lino makes fun of Mr. Muscle who is there showing off his body. He does some hand stands and accidentally falls into a trap made by Lino and a little boy. The people at the beach pull him out of the trap and he discovers that there are feces in the trap, he quickly runs to the beach to wash off his body. Sandro helps Laura get a shade for the sun and some ice cream. 
She asks him to help her unhook her swimsuit and also help apply lotion on her back. She appreciates him for being nice and gives him a kiss on the cheek. In the next scene, Laura asks Sandro to help her adjust her dress, claiming that it is too long. She dresses him in a female gown and then leaves the room. Justino enters the house and sees Sandro in the dress, he complains to himself because he thinks Sandro is gay. Sandro helps Laura wash her hair in the bathroom. Justino comes in and sees Sandro washing her hair, he congratulates Sandro on his hairdressing skills. Laura and Sandro go rowing on the sea. Sandro complains that it is not safe but she assures him that the sea is calm and they will be alright. Back at the house, Sandro continues to dream about Laura, he leaves his room to watch her sleep. The dog comes around and begins to growl at him, he tries to urge the dog to be quiet but it refuses, Sandro quickly returns to his room. The next day, the whole family including Renzo have some ice cream at a restaurant, they have an argument and Sandro leaves angrily. Justino tries to have the dog taken out by a car but it survives. Renzo goes to have a talk with Sandro and apologizes for being so rude to him. Later that night, Renzo and Laura have a discussion about his travels while Sandro listens from his room. The next day, Lino tells Sandro that Laura is having an affair but he doesn't believe him. He continues to talk to himself about it while Renzo and Laura try to ask him what was wrong with him. He tells them that he is fine and leaves. Afterward, Renzo travels yet again and Laura bids him farewell. She heads to the beach and afterwards goes to the changing room to change her clothes. She finds Sandro in the room and instead of asking him to leave, she changes her dress while he watches. She catches him watching her and quickly grabs a towel, Sandro tries to take off her towel and she slaps him. He tells her that he overheard her conversation with Renzo and heard him call her an escort and then asks if she is forbidden to minors. She calms him down and convinces him that what he heard are just things lovers say to make having relations more interesting. Sandro tries to say the same things with a young girl and she pushes him away, he apologizes for his behavior and she walks away. Sandro returns home and Laura tells him that they have to talk, she asks him if he hears everything that she does with Renzo in the room, she tells him that this embarrasses her. In the next scene, Lino and the other guys including Mr. Muscle gather at the beach, Mr. Muscle remembers that he has to do his presentations and runs off. He however hurts himself while doing his gymnastic stunts. Renzo calls the house and tells Sandro to inform Laura that he would not be returning home that night. Sandro gives her the message and she is upset because she had dressed up nicely for him. Sandro asks her to go to a party with him and she obliges him. Meanwhile, Renzo has dinner with another woman. At the party, Sandro gets jealous when Laura talks to other guys. A girl tries to talk to her but he does not give her too much attention. When Laura starts dancing with the guys, he tells her that it's time for them to return back home. On the way home, she confronts him for making them leave early. He tells her that he did not like that she was dancing with other guys. Laura tells him that he is jealous and kisses him. Filled with guilt, he calls Renzo and tells him that he kissed Laura. Renzo thinks that it is a joke and ends the call. The next morning, Laura tells Sandro that she was really drunk the previous night and doesn't remember what happened after the party, she asks him if she didn't do anything stupid. Sandro assures her and then she tells him that she would like to sleep for the whole day. Sandro meets with the young girl and she tries to figure out why he was upset at the party, he tells her that it was because he was drunk. Back at the house, Renzo informs Laura about a party at the club while trying to steal something from Sandro's room. At the party, Sandro and Laura dance and she compliments him on his dancing, she asks if he heard anything from his room and if he was eavesdropping on them. She tells her to promise him that he will not stop and after dancing for a while she tells him it is time to return. On the drive back home, Laura complains about Renzo's driving while she holds hands with Sandro. Back at the house, Sandro tries to eavesdrop on Renzo and Laura but he changes his mind and takes a walk down the beach instead. He returns to the house and sees Renzo who asks him if he was with a woman, he tells him no and Renzo offers to help him if he ever needs it. The next day, Renzo embarks on another trip, he tells Laura that he would be back in a week and he would take her on vacation. Afterward, Laura and Sandro relax at the beach, he asks her if she would like to swim but she says no. He goes to meet the young girl and she agrees to take a walk with him. Later on, Mr. Muscle is attacked and beaten by a man who thinks he is having an affair with his wife. Afterward, Sandro asks Laura if she would like to go see a movie with him and his girlfriend, she says yes and they get tickets for the movie. Inside the cinema, Sandro holds hands with his girlfriend while playing with Laura's legs as well. The next day, Justino waters the flowers and the maid informs him the dog needs to be taken for a walk. Justino flirts with her a bit and then she accidentally drops a vase that almost hits him on the head. Laura calls Renzo and tells him that she is bored in the house, he tells her that he would not be coming home that night but the next day. Renzo instead has dinner with his mistress and complains about his car. The next morning, 
Laura goes to check Sandro in his room and finds him reading a book. She tries to get the book from him and they struggle over the book. After getting the book from him, she reads it while relaxing on his body, Sandro caresses her body and she hits his hand. She scolds him about the book and then he tries to kiss her. Laura runs away from him while he chases her around the room. She runs to the bathroom and he follows her. They struggle for a bit but then Renzo arrives and enters the house. Laura and Sandro pretend like nothing happened and then she goes to the bathroom and turns on the tap. Renzo comes to meet her there, and they argue for a while and end up having relations. Sandro watches them from behind the door and this upsets him, he walks to the beach while crying. The next morning, Ordonati worries about not being able to find Sandro. Laura goes to look for him at the beach and finds him in the changing room. She kisses him and then they talk for a while. Other members of the family join them at the beach and Sandro eventually comes out of the changing room with Laura. Ordonati is happy to see him and so is his brother. At Sandro's birthday party, Renzo gifts him a pack of cigarettes, he opens a bottle of champagne and they all drink. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching guys. Have you heard about argan oil? This oil is an extract of a native Mwa'aritan tree. The oil has amazing cosmetic features such as the ability to exfoliate skin, grow nails, fade stretch marks and a whole lot. I will leave a link to a website in both the comment section and description box. The website provides explanation to further health applications. You can also buy from them.